Okay, so I'm just um, cutting out the quadrant for the offside out of this old cell. I'm just using 10 snips. Um, fairly rough drawing, made on the template, but um, it should do. Uh, the other side worked out quite well. This will be a similar dimension, so no problem there, I think. Um, so I've cut that out. I've cleaned up the bay a bit as well. So, because um, a lot of old rust and old steel around, and um, I've trimmed the sill down, which I'll show in a minute as well. So um, something I'm doing here, uh, I've clamped up you know, along in a few places, I've not actually welded on it, you know, I've not tacked it at all, I've not spotted it at all, but I'm feeling for the, the inside edge just on this lip of the original, the existing sill, the inner, and I'm trying to just gently tap it up, so I'm carrying on uh, using the, the inner sill as a guide, just so I can get it is as close up as I can and as wrapped in as far as it can uh, just like the original would have been um, the original outer that is uh, I didn't quite do it as much on the other side um, just because I managed to get a better fit and it just I just had a balance between the two but um, it is still up on the other side don't get me wrong but I've just paid a bit more attention on this one just because this sill's slightly further bent out um, so it's going to take a little bit more forming to get it in, not a problem, but it's got a few clamps on there, got these mini G clamps as well, they'll probably look a bit small for anything else, but um, they're quite handy for this because you can just get them in behind the, um, the lip and tighten it up and get quite, you can go quite tight on it without any, with things not moving. Um, when I kicked the end in, you know, that really went in with a sort of kick and a kink, um, which is not that unusual. I could pull the whole thing in with a G-clamp in a minute, but um, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to do it manually and get it tacked up. Uh, yeah, so I'll get it tacked on there. The other thing, the other thing you want to be careful of here, of course, is knocking the sill too far out of line. So um, as you're trying to sort of trim it up, and um, it's quite easy if the inner sill's a little bit bent or isn't quite true, it's quite easy to, to hammer too far up and take everything out of line. So it's always a good idea to try and look down the sill to make sure that's not happening. Some sills do profile sort of down at the front and down at the back quite naturally, but obviously you'd have to just look at pictures of an original car or look at what, you know, take pictures of the car before you cut the out sill off, you know, standard stuff.
that's the wrap for tonight. Um, that is the offside sit on. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that, to be honest. It's gone on. I did a little bit more planning on the, uh, the original winner cell and um, sort of did a bit more um, pre work on the the outer before I put it on. I had to a bit more on this one anyway, just because it was slightly more bent out, only very slightly. But uh, when you're dealing with things that are only a millimetre thick or less than, um, you know, with weird curves in them and such, um, it does take a bit of work to get everything to fit close. Um, this material is not forgiving if you've got any gaps in it when you're gonna go and weld it. Got a few clips this time of tacking on um, so you can see all the goods and the nasties. Um, like I say, I've had to resort to this um, spot through technique. Uh, it's not the best, but um, it is done. Um, they even sell kits to do it properly. I'm not doing it in that way, if you like. I just know how far away to hold the torch and how long I've got to pull the trigger for. I can see everything going on through my lid as I'm doing it, so I'm not worried. Um, it's spotted on, it needs some finishing off obviously, I'll have to flatten the bottom, there's a couple more bits I'll tidy up anyway with the welder and I'll have to weld along the top um, very carefully as I don't, so I don't want the whole thing. Um, but you can see everything's quite low profile and spotted in there, um, I'll go more on that um, in a bit as I finish the thing off, but um, I'll probably do that tomorrow but yeah yeah i'm happy with that it's gone on um same as the other one really you know the profile's probably a little bit further outside of the car but i'm happy enough and i'll better pack up and get home